All right. Obviously, we're out here at the scout. What I'm going to do, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Just a bunch of random. There's blankets and coil springs, and I don't even know what's in here. Garbage stuff up on the cowl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a garbage can out here, and then I'm going to uh, clean out the scout. Then I'm going to get the forklift, and I'll hook it up, and I'll flip this thing over upside down on its cage and start cutting stuff off the bottom that I don't need. I figure why not? We have the forklift. We might as well do a little rusty fork Saturday. We might as well flip it over with the forklift so it's much easier and then I'm not crawling around underneath it. Because I've got to cut these rock sliders off for my links and stuff to work that I'm going to run. I have to get rid of the rock sliders, steering box, bunch of mounts, shock hoops. I may or may not leave some of the stuff. We'll see once I get underneath, or once I get it flipped upside down, so I can have a little better look at it. That's the beauty of an old rig that's already beat up like this, because we're going to go beat it up even more. We'll smash the body even more on it. So, ain't going to hurt this thing to flip it upside down. Hang tight. I'll get it cleaned out. Okay. So... Um, we got a little scout cleaned out pretty good. It's still got leaves and stuff in it. I'll just sweep everything up once I dump it over. But I got the straps on it. I'm going to grab the forklift, warm it up for a second, and then I will come over and proceed to flip this thing upside down. We'll see how it goes. Okay, hopefully you can see me there. I got you on top of the blazer roof, so hang tight. I will go get the forklift. Record. Okay, so I got the scout upside down with the forklift. Um, I'm glad I flipped it upside down so I could really see some of this stuff that's got to be cleaned off this frame. See that? That's from the leaf spring setup that was on it that was on it before we bought it. Somebody used some sort of a almost looks to me like a link mount. Um, I don't know what they were doing with it, but anyway. This thing's got a ton of grease and oil on it, as you can see everywhere on the frame, the steering box. It's just soaked in oil. I think I'm going to go grab the trailer. Because it is nasty underneath, too. And we got to do a bunch of welding and cutting and grinding and redoing of some of this stuff, so... I think I'm going to go get the trailer and load this on the trailer and take it to the car wash and pressure wash the crap out of it. If I go pressure wash it, then it'll make my life a lot easier in the greasy spots and stuff. I'll probably pull the steering box off before I take it to the car wash just so I can get that frame nice and clean right there what whatnot. But um, hang tight. Okay. Here we go, take two. David's gonna try and pick this uh, scout up upside down. We got it rigged up according to Chase. So anyway, we're just gonna pick it up and back the trailer right under it. Hold please. So this is unusual again, but we've got this scout upside down. Cause we're gonna go pressure wash it the easy way. Come down nice and easy with it, boys. Right on the trailer, just like we thought it would. Crawling out of the scout. We're about to lift the scout off of the trailer. It's upside down. He had to crawl up there and crawl down through the engine bay. He'll video while we uh, lift this up. Okay, I want to show you our next part of our project. We got the scout unloaded. Uh, still upside down. I still got to cut a bunch of crap off of it. Right here, we are pulling the motor out of this J10. This is the motor that died on us when we were wheeling. This motor has had problems for a long time. It's a spider injection. 
So I will take and go back and put a throttle body on this. Okay, just wanted to show you some of today's progress. Chase has been working on the 14 bolt. He's got the heavy duty Arctic truss on it. Got the lower link set up. You're gonna go under and he had to do some cutting and moving to get the lower links to where they're gonna work, but. Or I'm sorry, the upper links. He had to move the upper link mounts so that the pinion angle and stuff is right. So just want to give you a little update. There's 14 bolt with the 13 bolt conversion or whatever they call it, 15 bolt, I don't know. Took these ones off, put the DOM ones on, DOM links with the bigger himes. So. Big himes. Different lengths, so we had to move some brackets. We're almost there. We'll get it finished up, sitting on its own. Ain't getting no younger. This shit ain't as fun as it used to be. <laughs> Out here, we got the scout flipped over. I started cutting all the brackets off the driver's side. Got a bunch of the stuff cut off. I'll have to go back and clean all that up. Uh, more brackets, more brackets, more brackets. There's still some nasty stuff we got to clean up. So, I'm going to go cut this side, and then we'll probably call it a night. Okay, we only have one minute worth of video. I'll show you some progress on chases. We got the 14 bolt that he had with the 538s in the gear, or sorry, the locker in it. Um, we moved the upper link tabs to make this drive with the links that he already had. You can see we got tabs there and tabs there. We ran out of wire in the welder, so we'll weld the rest of it tomorrow. But out here, I just cut all this nasty brackets off. I'll come back tomorrow and do a bunch more cleaning and grinding and I want to clean everything up right there where it's at. I haven't decided if I can make the bump stops work or not. Hopefully we can, but if we can't, we'll cut them. It's the end of the Saturday.